Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Do you think the intelligent design movement provides an alternative or a reasonable alternative to uh, neo-Darwinianism? Strictly speaking, no. Um, if you look at the history and the philosophy of science, when we see things like paradigm shifts like the Newtonian switch to Einsteinian physics, there's, a, there's an overlapping of the data set so that Einstein gives a, um, gives a different answer to the same underlying questions. On one blog site, Dembski says that intelligent design stakes its claims at the level of molecular biology. And when he analyzes biological information, he does it with the uh, sources from, or the resources from mathematical uh, information theory. Well, if that's what intelligent design is at its heart, it could never be the sort of science that gives a different reading of the fossil record, say, or a different reading of natural history. So what we need is we need a genuinely, a genuine alternative to neo-Darwinism, but it's not intelligent design.